The AI PC era is here and it's gaining momentum. In fact, AI PC was one of the hot topics at the recently concluded Computex 2024 event in Taiwan with OEM showcasing their upcoming laptops, which are being called as AI PCs. HP recently announced its first wave of AI PCs powered by Intel's Core Ultra processors. And these are built on the new Meteor Lake architecture. And we have been testing one of these for the past three weeks. Here is the all new HP NV X360 14, a powerful two in one laptop featuring some meaningful AI innovations. So let's explore what makes it an AI PC, what are the new experiences that this brings, and why you might just need one. Before we dive into the HP NV X360 14, Let's talk about AI PCs in general. Traditional PCs rely on CPU and GPU for all the tasks. But in case of an AI PC, there is a dedicated NPU or neural processing unit. So specific tasks from the CPU and GPU are offloaded to this NPU and it helps in conserving battery life and overall improving the efficiency of the laptop. And in case of the HP NV, it can be termed as a basic AI PC, which comes with OS and hardware tailored specifically for some Gen AI tasks. Talking about specifications, the HP laptop is powered by an Intel Core Ultra 7 155U processor, and it's built on Intel 4 node, which is on a 7nm fabrication. The processor has 12 cores and 14 threads. There are two performance cores with a max turbo frequency of 4.8 GHz, eight efficiency cores with a max turbo frequency of 3.8 GHz, and two low power efficiency cores with a max turbo frequency of 2.1 GHz. The processor has a base power of 15 Watt, which can go all the way up to 57 Watt in turbo mode. On the graphic side, there is an integrated Intel graphics with 4x cores and support for ray tracing. The processor also comes with a dedicated Intel AI Boost NPU, which has a max frequency of up to 1.4 GHz. Other specifications include 32 GB of LPDDR5 RAM, 1 TB of SSD, and connectivity options include Wi Fi 6E. Bluetooth 5.3, USB-A and USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. The laptop is also Intel Evo certified, which means it can offer over 9 hours of battery life and has advanced connectivity options like Thunderbolt 4 and it can also wake up within a second. Now, as we are talking about AI PCs, let's start with some AI features. First up, the HP NV X360 14 comes with a dedicated co-pilot button and you will find it on every Windows laptop that has a processor with a dedicated NPU. It gives you quick access to the co-pilot assistant from Microsoft. So recently, Northern Lights were visible in some European countries and also in the US. So we asked the assistant, when is the best time to view the Northern Lights? and from which country. It came up with some results saying that late August to mid April is the best time. And it also recommended the best time of the day to view it. After that, it also listed out the countries from you can best experience the Northern Lights. And finally, the assistant also offered some links to book the holiday packages. We also asked the co-pilot how to make a biryani and it came up with the list of ingredients and the entire process of making it. Along with it, the assistant also offered some links to the YouTube video so one can watch and prepare it. You can also ask the assistant to generate images using a text prompt. Here we asked it to create an image of a desert with rains and this is what it came up with. Next. We have Windows Studio effects from Microsoft, which uses the web camera and NPU to enhance your video conferencing experience. 
So when you are on a video call, you can enable background effects where you can choose between standard and portrait effects. It basically adds a background blur, thus keeping you in focus and all the distractions from the background away. There is also auto framing mode, which crops in the video to keep your face in focus, even if you move away a bit like this. While we are on the topic of AI features, the laptop also comes with something called presence detection. It uses the 5MP web camera, the IR sensor and AI to detect whether you are looking at the screen or away. It works as long as you are within a distance of 4 feet from the laptop. So, when you are looking away from the laptop, the screen goes dim after 5 seconds. And once you look back, the brightness increases. This is a good feature to save battery life when you are not around the laptop or looking away. Now, Intel recently announced that it has surpassed over 500 AI models that have been optimized for the new Core Ultra processors and they offer new AI experiences. Using a combination of CPU, GPU and NPU, these models are the backbone to AI features like object removal, text summarization and more and it's a part of OpenVINO Toolkit. We tested these on a few apps, starting with Audacity, which is a free open source audio editing tool. There are four effects here. First, we have the music suppression tool, which uses AI to determine the background noise and remove it from the audio. Here's an audio clip in a noisy environment. So we are testing the noise suppression feature on Audacity. And now we use the music suppression tool on Audacity and here is the result with all the background noise removed. So we are testing the noise suppression feature on Audacity. Next, we have audio to text translation which uses the whisper model for transcription. It works pretty well and both the translation and music suppression tools are great for podcasters. Next, we have music separation. We tried it on a song called Hotel California. On a dark desert highway. And here is how different instruments and vocals are separated. On a dark desert highway. Cool wind in my hair. Lastly, we have a Gen AI music generation feature where you can generate music with a text command and it uses NPU for decoding. Here's the music output that is generated based on our command. All these Audacity features run completely offline and you do not require an internet connection. Next, we have Jim, another open source photo editing tool like Photoshop. We tried two AI features here, one using a Stable Diffusion 1.5 model to generate an image from text. Here our prompt was a frog jumping in water. And while the actual image may not be of a frog jumping, but decent enough that we got a frog and water. There is also another AI tool called Semantic Segmentation, which uses the NPU and AI to determine the background and foreground to add blur effect. And while it worked well, the edge detection was not that perfect. But again, these are early models showcasing the capabilities of AI and NPU. And next, we move on to the video editing app from Wondershare called Filmora. Here, we took a video clip and added some AI effects to it, like AI portrait, which uses AI and NPU to determine the foreground and background and then add a background blur to it. We also use the smart cutout feature which separates the subject from background and lets you add a completely new background to it. When we render this video, you can see that the load is being shared between the CPU, GPU and NPU where NPU takes care of all the AI effects processing. Moving on, we also ran LM Studio, 
the app that lets you download small and large language models locally and test them out like the chatbot. Here we have Google's Gemini Nano, Phi 3 from Microsoft and Llama 3 from Meta. And while we could test this offline chatbot feature, we could not put the load on NPU and thus the inferencing and token generation was a little slower. But it does show the capabilities of running Gen AI models locally on these AI PCs. Now that we have got the AI bit out of our way, let's talk about the design and performance. The HP Envy X360 14 is a sleek, slim and stylish 2-in-1 laptop. You can use it like a regular laptop or even turn the display all the way back to transform the laptop into a tablet. The hinge is very strong and sturdy, allowing you to fold the screen in a tent mode or completely flat at 180 degrees or even 360 degrees in a tablet mode. And talking about the screen, you get a gorgeous 2.8K OLED touchscreen panel. It is an iMac certified screen which offers stunning colors and crisp details to make the content pop out. With a refresh rate of up to 120Hz, you get smooth visuals for content consumption, be it movies, music videos or even when gaming. The touchscreen has good sensitivity, offering good experience when you're scrolling through web pages or even when performing actions like pinch to zoom. There is also support for stylus, which magnetically attaches to the right side of the panel. There is a Type-C port at the back to charge the stylus. Now, whether you're scribbling notes or sketching on apps like MS Paint, the stylus works well. Though, we wish the palm rejection was a little better to prevent the mistouches. Talking about the performance, the Intel Core Ultra 7 offers good balance between power and efficiency. It performs smoothly for day-to-day -day tasks and even for casual gaming like Rocket League, we got up to 35 FPS. On Counter-Strike 2, we got up to 42 FPS. And for Left 4 Dead 2, we got up to around 140 FPS as well. Battery life is good, but it is subjective based on the settings and your workload. During our usage, we constantly got about 5 to 6 hours of total battery life. And when performing highly intensive tasks like gaming or video editing, the battery life was taken a hit, but we could still manage somewhere around 3 to 4 hours of usage. The speakers are tuned by Poly Studio and they offer decent enough output that you would need for video conferencing, watching videos or even playing casual games. The keyboard is spacious enough, has backlit so that you can use it in the dark and the keys offer good travel making typing easier. On the function button row, there is also a dedicated emoji button which is a nice touch for those using emojis in most of your messages. So that was our review of the HP Envy X360 14 2-in-1 laptop which brings powerful performance and innovative AI features to enhance our day-to-day -day experience. So what are your thoughts on AI PC and which one was your favorite feature that you are looking for? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up button and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, do click on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell icon so that you are notified about each and every video when they are published. For now, it's Ritesh signing off and see you in the next one.